Hey, thanks for coming. Let's watch some of the most embarrassing moments. <laughs> One of the most embarrassing things I've ever done in my entire life. I'm in high school, I'm 16. I'm in Spanish class. I have a crush on this boy. The teacher says for extra credit, you could either sing a song in front of the entire class or you could draw a portrait of somebody. Mm, yeah. Portrait. I decide in my up mind to draw a portrait of the boy I had a crush on. It was a homework assignment. You had until the end of the week to do it. <laughs> and when you got to class on Friday, you had to turn in your portrait. I tried so <laughs> hard on this portrait. So bad. Friday rolls so bad. around. I'm like, damn, I ate with this portrait. I sit in class. The people that chose to sing start singing in front of the class. He calls That's them worse. up one by one. They finish. They get their extra credit. Then he goes, okay, now everybody that drew a portrait, I'm gonna call on you one by one. Each of you have to come up here, show your portrait, tell everybody who it is and why you drew them. No, 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 no. When I tell you I was ting, I'm like, no way, no way, no way, no way. Before no I way, even no have way. a chance to get myself, I get called up first. No. Said crush did not know that I drew him. <laughs> I Make can't think quick enough. I Make can't lie on my feet that quick. Oh. I was too young. I was a fetus. I get up there and say, hello class. I decided to draw my best friend XYZ, who is my crush. That was my crush. He was one of my best friends. He's looking at me like, you can drew me. The teacher goes, <laughs> why? Why did you draw him? I'm so Someone nervous. I start babbling off like, I think he has a good facial structure. <laughs> He's one of like my best friends, haha. <laughs> I try to make it seem like a joke. All the while, my crush is literally staring a hole through me. Mind you, while I'm giving this presentation, I have to hold the portrait up like this while I'm talking. <laughs> you ever see that scene in Napoleon Dynamite when he draws his crush and she literally, it, let me show you. It was this that. is the girl Napoleon Dynamite <laughs> tried to draw. This is what he fucking drew. So imagine <laughs> me standing in front of my Spanish class, drew a picture of my crush and the picture looks like something like this it's so bad to say i was mortified my face was beating red i finished my little presentation i turn it in i go sit down next to him because i sit down next to him and he turns around he goes you drew me i don't want to talk about it i don't want to talk about it one of the most and embarrassing that was it it I've just ends there so life. you guys didn't fall in love and anything like that <laughs> Damn, that sucks. That's actually so embarrassing. The teacher should have told you guys if you needed to present. You can't just ask people on the fly to present. Like, come on. Top comment, I would have said this is my cousin. He died. <laughs> same, same. Make it someone that nobody knows so they can't deny it and you can never meet them because they passed away. <laughs> Oh, that's so bad. That's so bad. The Napoleon Dynamite comparison is perfect. I actually want to watch that movie again. I was thinking about that lately. I kind of want to watch it. Um, let's continue. That was bad. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I just had the most embarrassing moment of my entire life. I was in the local grocery store yep. and this woman comes up to me and she calls me by name. She's like, oh, hi, Maddie. Like, so good to see you again. Of course, me being the awkward bitch I am, I'm like, oh, yeah, so good to see you. <laughs> <laughs> but it was really bugging me. And so as I go through the store, I'm thinking, who the hell is this? Who is this? I've never seen this person in my life. And so in the checkout line, she's awkwardly right in front of me. And so I say to her, like, hey, I'm sorry, this is really going to bug me. But how, how do you know me? And she goes, oh, you're the TA in my daughter Kara's class, which is all good and fine. Except for I'm not the TA in anyone's class. I'm a lawyer. But me being the dumb I am, I'm like, oh, yeah. Oh, Kara, what a great girl. Why? And she says, oh, yeah, she doesn't know the other TA's name. She only knows yours. So that says a lot about you. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay, my lie is fine. My lie is a safe lie. Everything's good. <laughs> Until <laughs> it's not. It's actually who not. runs up to get in line with her mommy, but little Kara. <laughs> and her mom goes, oh, look who it is. And her daughter looks at me like, who the yeah. f is this? And she says to her mom, I don't know who that is. And her mom's like, yeah, you do. It's Maddie. And she goes, <laughs> she goes, that's not Maddie. So then I just look like an 
absolute freak. Oh. All because I couldn't be an adult and be like, oh, you have me confused. You had to be like, oh, yeah. I was so uncomfortable. <laughs> I was so uncomfortable. I just turned around and started talking to the person behind me in line. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I can't believe she just didn't say. You got me confused with someone else. She actually played along and was like, yeah, your daughter's so good. <laughs> oh, top comments. The real crime is Kara not playing along. Like, <laughs> should she have, really? I was mistaken for someone else by my dental hygienist and now I've been pretending to have a child for years. Why are we like this? <laughs> that's so bad. You're like, yeah, that's me. Yeah, oh, kid's doing great. Kid's doing great. That's funny. Come on, people. Why don't you just say that's not me? Then you can get out of the interaction. You know, you can be like, yeah, nope, that's not me. Sorry. And then you can stop talking instead of continuing on these lies. Yeah, I'm your daughter's TA. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> <gasps> the box must have been really heavy. <laughs> oh, top comments, just need a quick picture to confirm delivery. Imagine, picture as she was falling. But hey, we got the we got the camera footage right here. That's funny. At least you had pajamas under the dressing gown. Oh my god. You would have been up like this with no pajamas. That's like worst case scenario. Like it literally can't get worse. Can't get worse. Let's keep going. When I was in court, I forgot what to call the judge and I accidentally called him your majesty. And he was like, what? And I repeated it. I saw a girl carrying a hamster, so I asked if I could pet it, but it was actually a muffin, so I'm on my way to jump off a cliff now. <laughs> okay, that's really funny. Can we just go back for a second to the court one? What are you supposed to call them? Like, your honor. You're supposed to call them your honor, right? But here in Canada, I've heard them call the judge your worship. Okay, thank you, your worship, blah, 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 blah. To me, that feels weirder than majesty and honor. Cause it's like worship, isn't that, it seems like religious, but anyways. Hamster muffin, funny. Let's keep watching. I, one time as a waitress, the guy asked me for extra mashed potatoes and I replied, they are mashed as much as they can mash them. <laughs> <laughs> I went to say medium meal when reading an order to a customer. All that came out was meat, meat. I didn't even correct myself. I just, <laughs> meat, meat. I just stared. <laughs> I went to ask my customers how their food tasted. It had a complete brain fart. So I just looked at them and went, mmm, while rubbing my mm? stomach. <laughs> That's good. I don't got Omarion, but I gotta have a little feels of something because I ain't feeling right. <laughs> When I was in court, what? I forgot what to call the judge and I accidentally called him your majesty. I don't, I don't know like, what, what they were talking about, the N1, Lil Fizz, something, something, but okay. Those were good. I think we can do one more for this video because my camera is overheating. Oh, isn't that nice? Story time about the most embarrassing day of my life. So it's ninth grade. I'm walking home from school, got my little backpack on, take my little footsteps, child of God, walking. And I was wearing a dress that day, so dare I say I look superior. <laughs> and I'm walking, all of a sudden the car honks, I'm like, oh, <laughs> you see it too. There's something going on here that we're all aware of. And then another car honks, I'm like, oh my God, do they think Angelina Jolie is among them? No, <laughs> no, how wrong I was. But another car honks, another car honks, all directions, cars, 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 hunking, hunking, hunking. Come on. It was getting to my head. So I walked through my door, okay? I try to take my backpack off. It gets stuck. I'm like, mm, what's, it, what, what's it tangled on? Mm, my dress. <laughs> oh. <sighs> yeah, just all tangled up there. So my whole back sat out. And not to mention, today was the first day I had ever worn a thong. I knew it. I thought I, I was the example of womanhood for my fellow classmates. Uh. And not to mention, 
that back then I got nothing going on back there, okay? It was an x-ray. It was a skeletal system. <laughs> so they were honking at my bones. Eh. Yeah, so, Ooh. and not to mention also that all the cars that were walking by were my classmates. Yeah. They were getting picked up from school. Yeah. Oh, so are you talking about the most embarrassing day of my life? So it's ninth grade. That is so embarrassing. That sucks so bad. So always be aware of where your dress is sitting because I would also advise if you're going to wear a dress, if you have little tight shorts to put underneath, it makes you feel so much better and so much more secure. Like if the wind blows, like you don't even really care that much because you got the shorts on, you're fully covered. So I would advise everybody to get some nice little shorts. I like the Lululemon ones, but honestly, any of them are good, okay? And yeah, since my camera is deciding to break, we have to cut it off there. That really, really sucks, oh my God. Okay, but I appreciate you being here, seriously. It means a lot to me that anybody watches these videos at all, because I know they can be really cringe. I'm trying to get better, I am, but you're here with me now and I appreciate that so much. So thank you, thank you, thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.